Welcome to Maths and Tracks. Uh, in this tutorial, we are going to see numerical integrations. The two most common methods are trapezoidal and Samson's rule. Let's first understand what integration means. If you plot a curve on xy plane, the integration of this curve function between any two points represents the area under the curve. For example, to find the area of a function ranging from 1 to 1.4, we divide this range into small intervals to get more accurate value. In case 1, what's called overestimation, the area of these intervals, including the upper triangles, is summed up, where the interval is represented by the symbol h. And the second case, Known as underestimation can be drawn as shown. So, in order to get the mean value, take an average of these areas resulted from the two cases. The average graphical representation can be plotted such like this is what's known as trapezoidal rule. The expression can be written as Remember that in trapezoidal's rule, we must have a least number of points too. While in Simpson's rule, the least number of points, 3. Let's take an example out of a box. The expression of trapezoidal for this example can be written as these points x0, x1, x2, x3, and x4 are known. So find the function values at these points and put into the expression. We get final values of the function integration 0.1151010108. Use calculator to see the exact solution. Which is 0 0.1139821613. Now, to find the area under the function in the given interval by using Sampson's rule, this rule is a bit more clever approach in a sense that it uses quadrilateral line instead of a linear straight line between any two points of interval. The Sampson's expression is shown here. In this rule, the recognition of even and odd number is necessary, such as shown, because they are summed up separately by putting the interval values into the function and then the function into the Simpson expressions, we can easily find the solution, which is equal to 0 0.11392 The exact value is 0 0.11392 while well, the trapezoidal results is 0 0.1151010108. Here we can clearly see that the Simpson rule is more smarter than trapezoidal due to the nonlinear behavior inclusions. Thanks for watching.